PEI Witness News with Gary Gallant and Gina Goody Gallant. Welcome to a very special PEI Witness News election edition. Our top story, trouble at the polls. Steve got his hand stuck in the ballot box. Election hacking. Are some voters coughing too loud? Diversity for the win. PEI Town Council elects its first, Greg. And Barb Gallant has won a seat in M&M Furniture's Win a Chair Contest. But first, the results are in from Wellington. And the winner is no one. Nobody wanted to run for mayor. Our own Debbie Gallant has more. I'm here outside the bowling alley by the beauty parlor slash marijuana dispensary where the citizens of Wellington aren't casting their votes. With me is Chief Returning Officer Daryl Gallant. That's right. Just to be clear, it's Daryl with an E, distinguishing me from the other 26 Daryl Gallants in Wellington. Right. Well, your job must be easy since there are no names on the ballot. That's right. Here's a ballot right here. As you can see, it's just a blank potato. But if a citizen of Wellington was to write someone's name on it, that person would become the mayor by default. I'm from Wellington. Let me see that. There you go. The new mayor of Wellington is... Daryl Gallant? With an E? Oh, no, come on! Well, the person has spoken. You're the new mayor. But I've got a vacation to Moncton booked. <laughs> Back to you, Gary and Gina. PEI democracy. It works. Coming up, Cow's Ice Cream reveals its latest T-shirt design. A steer was born. PEI Witness News. More eyes than a potato. 